Yeah. Ah. <laughs> she likes to dance with me. Let's dance. Da, da, da. It's wonderful. We feel really blessed to be able to have had her um, because, you know, we almost couldn't have her. Chris came to me looking for uh, better treatments for what was diagnosed as a glioblastoma, and I operated on him and then enrolled him in one of our clinical trials. He got three years without a recurrence. That's almost unheard of in glioblastoma world. Life was happening. Just having more time and watching our daughter grow. They're going through real events. We're having a baby, buying a house, and taking care of his kid. All the while, he's suffering from the most malignant of human cancers. I don't measure this disease in decades, even many, many years. There's a lot of people with glioblastoma and they need help and they need some sort of a hope. Now if you take a pill, or an IV, it's going to circulate through the whole body and at some point pass by the tumor you're trying to kill. This is different. I want to give it just to the tumor itself, which is what intra-arterial drug delivery is doing. His tumor recurred or came back, and so we had to shift strategies and talk about more treatments. First he had a resection of the tumor, and then he had three inch arterials. And his scans show a retraction of his tumor. So this okay. is April. And this is today. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, but it has oh shrunk. Yeah, it seems like. Oh my god, it's that's great. It's great. So we're very happy that, that, you know, we get to be part of these studies. And I just hope that others have a chance to have access to it. The textbooks would have said he wouldn't have a kid. The textbooks would have said he wouldn't have a white picket fence in a house on Long Island. And the textbooks never would have said he'd be gardening in that house and taking care of his kid. Yeah, that is good.